just love how the road looks when the trees cover it like that. I think it's so pretty. So, hey guys, uh, Brian and Liz here, obviously. We are on our way for our second meeting of the day, but we were having a little bit of a back and forth, uh, just talking about the idiosyncrasies of working together um, for each other's businesses, and uh, something could have turned into an argument, but... <laughs> it could have, it didn't. But it was really interesting because, so you guys know that we're on the life journey together, right? We're, <laughs> we're, we're freshly married, we've been married for three years, okay? So we don't have like all the sage wisdom, knowledge, and advice to give you guys. But all things being said, we have learned a few things and we have observed a few things, what works, what doesn't work. And we had an interesting little situation because uh, you were, what was it, just the other day, we were uh, doing some work on your signs, right, about a week ago. Yep. And it was interesting because you were teaching me how to do some stuff, right? Yes. And I wasn't exactly catching on. I'm not the most patient teacher. Right. So we had some uh, interesting exchanges about how uh, things are done in our house with uh, me working for you, right? Because mm -hmm. you haven't really had any necessarily employees. Right, and then tell him what happened. Um, I'm, I gotta catch the line, I actually gotta drive here. So he was uh, sending an email, and we don't do texting and driving. I usually am the one, like if you are getting text messages that are like punctuated and like a lot of explanation points, that's me, I'm texting for him. Normally you sign off with love or best. I do best, and then like explanation point. Well he doesn't, and so. You were, <laughs> you were doing a text message for me because yes. I didn't want to text and drive, right? Yep. And by the way, I'm looking at my phone, but I'm GPSing. And uh, this was just a really good practical tip that we thought was that, the fact that we both have different ways of doing things, right? We have completely different styles in business, I and, guess. And different personality types. Yep. And what was it? His needs or her needs or love and respect? One of those talks about lenses and like literally like if you were to take a guy's brain and a girl's brain it's like they see the world completely through two different you know girls get Galaxy pink lenses, lenses and guys get blue lenses and the whole world looks different filtered through those we always, uh, we've heard things like women are spaghetti guys are waffles compartmentalized well it was an interesting thing we, so we were just basically saying that uh, I had you re kind of do a text message for me you had made the text message I wanted you to like redo it and I said hey just so you know I'm not criticizing I'm not <laughs> that's what he always starts everything with isn't it nice I'm not criticizing but if you could do this a little bit differently I'm not trying to criticize I'm not yeah. trying to critique um, because I, I just you know I don't want to start a fight or a tiff over something silly but it was interesting because it comes back to the fact that one of uh, the most I think uh, desirable traits in a human being right now especially in this world today mm -hmm. is the ability to still stay humble and to be a learner and to yeah. still be a student and you know what, that doesn't change when you're in your 10th year of business. It doesn't change when you're in your fourth year of high school, your fourth year of college, your 20th year on the job, you can always learn. And you know who gets really offended and you know who really gets um, short-tempered and uh, you know, all these different things in life. You know what it always stems from? It's not necessarily humility or the fact of you needing to act humble or be humble. In my opinion, what I've observed is the fact that most people aren't a life learner. They don't have this philosophy of, hey, you know what, something might be off one degree. And let's talk relationships. That's what we were talking about, yep. right? And working together, specifically owning businesses, yeah, obviously. Because there's there was a time, let's go back to when I was working for you, um, your, your Etsy handmade business, mm -hmm. you had your farm signs, and I was yep. working for you, doing a whole bunch of crap. And I kind of work for you, you kind of work for me. Yeah. We, don't, we don't pay each other, right? But. Wow, well, you know, kind of. But that's a whole other topic. <laughs> We're keeping the vlog Disney. Uh, so, but it was interesting because you had explained to me in your very type A driven, clear personality type how you want something done. Mm -hmm. And I had only had real one, uh, really one level of experience with it. And I didn't pick it up as, as quick as I did, did I? No, and I'm not the most patient teacher, like you said, very type A, very cleric. Um, I just. You see it once, you should be able to do it, and like he needs it multiple times because he's so detailed. And I appreciate that quality in him, but when you're want the wrath. when you're trying to move quickly <laughs> and get the stuff done, We're like in a crunch. We're um, in a crunch. his personality doesn't pick up as pick fast. up as fast, which is fine. I'm a slow learner, but once I get it, I get it. You do. You know what I mean? We just operate differently, and so it's just funny, <laughs> like learning not only how to be married together, but also to own businesses right. together and be able to work in those businesses together. Because it's one thing, like when you were working the lawn business by yourself, right. and I was working full time, um, I didn't really have that active of a role in it. And now that I'm home, I'm like, oh, but we could do this and this and this. And like you've been super gracious and not letting me like derail derail or, or like or if I have an idea you're able to say you know what I never thought of that and you your your ego is never too big 
That's about not, it. That's I mean, not true. He, that sounds really. He's nice. not the most like humble person, yeah. but like you are open. You're a life learner, sure. like you call it. And I am learning to be the same way in my business. Well, it was really interesting too, because uh, the other day um, we were talking, and when I was working for you, you were um, confused. Let's just say at the. Uh, length of time it was taking for me to pick up on something, right? It's a very nice way of saying it. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I was like, hey, hero, you know, like I, it took me three or four times for you to show me something. You're like, if you don't get it on the first time, I'm done with you. <laughs> I don't need you. My personality, I'm just a fast moving person. Uh, I'm not saying it's like the best, a, um, but driver. it's just like I want something done and I want it done yesterday. And like, I expect people to just figure it out. And it's not always the best. I'm not saying that's good. And it's I'm okay. learning, well, but you don't work that way. Like you. Well, it was interesting too because I had I had to slow I had to slow you down I had yeah. to say hey look champ hey uh, hero okay look I know we're going to take over the world in the sign <laughs> business world uh, but here's the deal uh, and I'm not hero either but I have hired and trained and fired tens if not dozens of people right mm -hmm. and I have had to learn how to train people so there's there's you understanding competency and whatever you're doing then there's training it to somebody else and then training them to do it your way right and you um, have to train people like on jobs but not in your own business not in my own business and it's like my baby and like right. I get things like going and it's fast because I've done it so many times and it's funny because like I'm like on a, a tenth year senior, you know what I mean, whatever you want to call it, like tenth year business owner. Yeah. You're a first year business owner in that. We have another business that we run together, and it's like you're still you're learning. So I have to have grace and not kill you. Yeah. Because you're yelling at me. Another thing that we've learned versa. is really important too is just being on the same page. Like we're never starting a new project or dragging the other one in another direction. Like right. We you know we got each other's back mm -hmm. through and through. But it was just an interesting observation, one that we had to share with you guys because, um, and we'll wrap it up with this one, was that you know you can you can have a whole lot of skills and life uh, life attributes and traits and things that you are really proud of yourself and education and all these other things. So that's cool. You know, one thing that I think really helps relationships stay together is the fact that you both stay humble, you both are life learners, and you both have a philosophy of, hey, I don't know it all. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? And I think that was just a, an interesting. And you know what? It came down to even a text message for us, which could have been a blowout fight. Could have been. Um, and you know what? Two years ago, it probably would have been like a blowout fight. Yeah, being honest. I, I had told you I didn't want you to send the text message that way. You, I, I basically told you what I wanted you to say. Mm -hmm. You interpreted it a different way. You put this paragraph together, and I was like, that I'm like, but it's perfect and it makes sense. And yeah. you know, I did it my way. And like, and I was of like, course, it's perfect. It's my way. <laughs> and I was like, that's not exactly what I'm trying to say. And you're like, well, what do you want to say? And I'm like, whoa, whoa, don't give me the language. Let's relax, right? But we figured it out. But we did. And so we thought we'd make a short little video about it because we haven't figured everything out. We want this channel to be like a th like a thing we can look back on and watch our relationship progress and like maybe And again, we don't have a five step process for your marriage uh, No. Uh, you know, maybe one day in like marriage. 25 years from now, okay, but we, we read books too to, to get better yeah. at everything. And but, we know that there's a lot of young married couples who are running a lawn business or what have you. Um just entrepreneurs, man. entrepreneurs out there that are watching our videos and so we thought you guys would relate and it was just kind of a funny car chat learning life moment. <laughs> so what's some uh, funny moments you guys have or what's some good tips that you guys have? What's your guys' number one life relationship uh, piece of advice? Is it to stay humble, to never go to bed angry, right? We've heard uh, a couple different ones the like that. The best marriage advice that we've ever gotten. Was never argue with your clothes. Never on. argue with your clothes. On. That's a good one. Well, so much for the vlogging in Disney. I know. Demonetize well, me. What do I care? <sighs> That's funny. Well, I swear, and you've used it before too. I will be raging, raging mad because I. I, Don't give everybody a bad image of my my you know masculine physique. You and know then Brian will come out and he is just <laughs> hey, buck naked and it is very hard to keep an argument. <laughs> <laughs> One time you tried to keep going. That came out with my best uh, Captain Morgan, uh, Jack Sparrow type look, you know, on one knee, and uh, you were a little uh, baffled. So, that's like, funny. what are you doing? Yeah. Anyways, so I hope you guys like this one. Um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you like this type of video, we're putting out content multiple times a week, trying to come up with some sort of a schedule and a plan. But uh, we're right learning. Now, we're just living the dream, having fun. Yeah. Hanging out with you all, you guys. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.